Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we are discussing Steven Universe episode 71, I believe, When It Rains. This is the second episode in the Peridot arc, which, oh my god, is so exciting and wonderful and I was really excited about this episode. It was a really good episode, but it also kind of feels weird discussing it at this point because it's very much not a full story arc. Um, feels like this really should be a Steven bomb but it isn't, so. Also, ignore the construction. I'm sorry, nothing I can do about it. So basic premise of this episode, Peridot is still in the bathroom, the gems are trying to get information out of her, but she is having none of that. Uh, but she does begin to start trusting Steven, uh, and Steven sort of shows her and explains what rain is so that she's not afraid of it anymore, and she's like, okay, I'm gonna tell you about the cluster because you obviously know about Earth and you can help me. Uh, but that's really not the case. Steven only knows about Earth because he lives on Earth and he understands sort of the basic things that all humans need to know to survive. So then Peridot comes to the conclusion that she needs to tell the gems what's going on. Um, and what is going on is that the Cluster, a giant gem mutant made up of millions of shards of gems, is living underneath the Earth's surface, waiting to emerge and destroy the Earth completely. I love the part where uh, they're leaving, the gems are leaving, and then Peridot's like, Steven, I have something to tell you. I love you. Okay, bye. That was so precious. Oh my gosh. It was also a really nice sequence when Peridot like first stepped out into the rain. Uh, I felt like it was just very subtle, but packed a really decent emotional punch. Like most things with the show, they managed to do a lot with very few words. Um, and it's really good. I liked it. Um, you know, just kind of the way that her eyes lit up and she had like a tear rolling down her face. It, it just looked really like cool and genuine. I also feel like Steven and Peridot make a really great team. Like Peridot's got the knowledge and Steven's got like the strength and the knowledge of his abilities and what he can and cannot do. Um, and I feel like that's gonna be a theme going forward is Steven just sort of teaching Peridot what he knows because it seems that they're trying to make Peridot very young, very naive, very much the way that Steven was when he first started on, you know, the show. You know, because it feels like they're trying very much to make Peridot uh, young and naive and innocent the way that Steven was when the show first started. Um, and I just think it's a really great parallel for maybe Steven to be teaching her, maybe he can teach her how to use her weapon. Maybe she doesn't even know that she has one because she obviously feels like she can't do anything without her enhancements. So maybe that's gonna be a future episode. Also that soup metaphor, that was a quality interpretation of how you describe brain to somebody. I thought that, that was just really cool, like that is exactly what rain is. It's like evaporated water that comes up and then goes down. Also, isn't Steven a little too young to be cooking soup? Like, I wasn't allowed to touch the stove until I was at least like 14. Also, when Peridot touches the diamond symbol on the little thing at the kindergarten, you know, it like flashes and lights up and makes a noise and everything comes on to the screen, just like how when Steven touches the rose quartz symbol in the artillery, it, you know, the weapons appear and everything. I just thought that was really interesting. Like, is it a thing where like he's a quartz so he can touch like quartz and make that happen or is it just a specific thing that only he and his mother can do and is that diamond thing a thing that only peridots can do or is it something that like the entire diamond authority can do it's just interesting i would like to learn a little bit more about that also what i wouldn't give to read the ballad of rose and greg oh my god all in all i really enjoyed this episode there wasn't anything at all negative about it but it was so like quick, it like came and then it went and you know, some things were lingered on and some things were rushed right over, particularly the fighting at the end. I feel like that's one of the show's main downfalls is that it works so hard to build up this really interesting, compelling story and then when it comes time to the action and the climax, it goes over so quickly because you only have 11 minutes and you spent 10 of those minutes on, you know, producing an emotional response, so, you know. I'm excited to see what's going to happen going forward. I really enjoy Peridot. I've always kind of enjoyed Peridot, um, and I am really looking forward to seeing her growth as a human being. I honestly don't know what's going to happen with her, because, I mean, there's a part of me that thinks it would be really interesting if she joined the Crystal Gems, but there's another part of me 
that feels like that would just destroy the dynamic of the show. And I don't know what's really going to happen. Maybe she'll sacrifice herself or something to save Steven. I can definitely see the show going that way. If that's the case, I'm going to cry like a little bitch. So yeah, that's my thoughts on the episode. Excited for next week's episode. Leave any thoughts or theories you have down in the comments or your favorite parts, and I will see you next week. Also, if you would like to watch just my blind reaction of this episode, I have uploaded that on Daily Motion, or I will shortly after this goes live. So you can check the link in the description if you would like to see that. So, goodbye!